Good afternoon, Mission Control. We have got a grow panel done. Let's check it out. I've turned it off and let it cool. Oh, look at that. Let it cool down. That's the secret. Oh, you don't even need to touch it. Cooling down, very important. Oh, the front surface turned out nice, a little dirty. Holes turned out nice. Sides turned out nice. The ends, a little rough on the ends. And our support is there. Looks like it's gonna come off. Not as easy as what we would like, but it's gonna come off. There we go, that's better. Uh, let's see here, those are good. We did have it stop, but kind of see the surface turned out really nice. You know, it has, you know, you're gonna have that, uh, the sound is because there's that little ripple in there from the lines, but everything is solid. There's no gaps or holes or anything in it. Looks really good. Let's see how it mates to the other section. So there's a bunch of different parts that come together to make a grow wall. These are just two parts and these repeat. These parts are repetitive so you can actually get multiple sets of these. Uh, this is just one section full size and then you can have another one that stacks on it and another one that stacks on it so you can actually have, what is that, about a six foot tall tower or a wall. But what I was going to say is, okay, so there's a top assembly and a bottom. Uh, part. The bottom part is simply a base. Depending on your needs, the base changes. So we have a base that we need to print here. Uh, and then the top assembly, uh, that's where the water goes. So it actually has, the top assembly consists of a bottom part, an inner part, a tube, uh, a pressure tube, the nozzles, and then an actual top thing that latches it all into each other. And then all this stuff screws in um, to the panels and makes it all nice and secure. It's the next day. Uh, last night I was up late. I got these parts all put into the slicer here. Did some modifications to them to make them easier to print. Got it all laid out on one side. I'm gonna give you a view here if you can see it. Uh, this is the base panel. These two round parts in the middle of the poles, those are actually uh, the supply tube, which is used uh, to help uh, even out water distribution and pressure. And we have a set of brackets here that actually clamp everything in uh, where the hose and everything comes in. And then we've got our first uh, grow cup, uh, which I'm only going to print one of to start with uh, just to test it. So I've uh, got this loaded onto the printer. Uh, the printer is currently heating up and uh, it's going to get printing on this thing. According to the slicer, we have 27 hours and 21 minutes and it's going to take uh, a little over a kilogram of filament, which I think we might barely have enough. We'll see how well it does. All right, all right. We have a successful print completion. Hey, look at how far down the bed goes. And it's still got another foot and a half uh, to drop down. All right, so here is the base. Nice. The part that came up were supports, but, but then once it got over that filament loss, everything turned out all right. That's, that looks like that's gonna work. These sections come off, so that's nice. Watering tubes, and we'll put those in there. This is the top panel. Not sure what that's all about. Is that just a support gone wrong? When supports go wrong hefty piece of plastic right there. And that sits on the top. And then this little guy, he slides down into this one and holds that tube. That's what those little guys are for there. Skirting there. Allows you to have that first, first uh, bit of filament comes out in that skirting to keep it from that way you can find a problem before it happens. Cleans out the nozzle. There we go. That has lots of supports in it. All, all that stuff goes. So that's gonna be interesting seeing how well that comes off of there. It looks like I may have put it on too dense. Boy, that is really, really thick on there. This turned out good. So, hey, you know what? We continue to make great progress. Every step forward we have, about half a step back. And I thought for sure this tube would work out. That support came out really nice. 
Did not like that. I think uh, our nozzle size might be a little too big for the attention to detail we need there on that piece. So that's good to learn up front, you know. And those holes were supposed to come out. So I think for the pipe and for the insert, I think we just have uh, not enough fidelity on the model. Did I not print the top? I didn't print the top. There's supposed to be a top that sits on that. Well, that's a stinker. That thing could hurt someone. This grow all has two purposes. One is to be a consumer product to help people uh, grow things uh, on their walls, in their homes, uh, things like herbs, strawberries, leafy green vegetables, etc. Um, and also to be used in our systems, our integrated systems that provide sustainable food and energy uh, to local communities and families. Well, there it is in all of its glory. Uh, I also shifted out to a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, which is the smallest nozzle that I have, and that'll give me the highest resolution. It's going to take a day for this whole thing to print. Uh, it's been going here for, well, it says it has 19 hours left, so it's been going for about five hours today, and it's made it this far. I'm really excited about this design. I'm always excited about every design, but this one in particular I really like. You can see there are six inch boxes that will be able to connect to each other. All right, all right, I see it's done printing. What do we have here? Let me show you guys. Look at this, look at this, what could it be? But maybe a grow wall. Design number three. Uh, it's on there good. No match for my super awesome tool. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, Get them all out of there. Ooh, almost perfectly fits the first time. A whole bunch of these little guys. Uh, I modified that design there and came up with this one. So instead of 16 holes on one plate, every one of these boxes will get a faceplate cover. So here we go. This is your plant holder. And it slides right in there like so. And on the inside, right here is where that 1032 comes out. And this will also be threaded 1032. Uh, it's a nice straight shot there. And uh, you'll be able to put your drip nozzle right there. And then that drips right into that. You just need these little connectors. You slide them in and then this faceplate goes over the front, locks them all in place. And then you slide your other uh, grow box uh, on top of it. And then that locks that one in, and put its front cover in. And it's all locked in place. And these uh, are designed to be nice and tight. This is just so great. 3D prototyping is so freaking awesome. Because you get to do, like, here we are, right? If I would have sent this off to get manufactured, it would have been weeks. And uh, would have cost a lot more than what we spent. So again, this 3D printer is already paid for. It's already paid for itself, folks. So if you, if you are getting into 3D printing, it's important that you know, you know the value of it. Uh, what I'm doing here is why 3D printing exists. <clears throat> you can come up with an idea in a day and the next day you can have it in the real world. And that is amazing. We live in truly amazing times to be able to do stuff like this. If I were to send this off and have molds and everything made for it, it would have cost thousands of dollars. Uh, if I would have sent it off to have somebody else 3D print it, probably be a, a few hundred dollars, maybe. Um, some of the quotes I got back suggest that that's, that's the case. Uh, if I were to send off those grow walls, the big ones, it was gonna cost a lot of money, uh, way more than the printer cost. So this is amazing.